Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be talking about my current favorite products, stuff that I've been using over the month of September and currently, and I'm going to go ahead and start with my makeup products. So um, the combination, I'll start with my like foundation, primer, stuff like that first. So I've been using the Makeup Forever primer, and um, this one is the Step 1 Skin Equalizer in yellow. It's just the yellow one. This comes in a few different shades and the yellow is really supposed to brighten and I think it um, helps with redness. So I just really love it. It helps my makeup to stay on for a really long time. I love the consistency. It's not like super silicone-y, which I do not like silicone primers. Um, it just kind of prepares your skin and I just love the way it makes your skin feel. It makes it feel very soft and um, I just love it. Okay, the next my foundation combination that I've been loving. Um, I always go back to the Studio Fix Fluid, but I've been mixing in my Cover Effects in G30. These are the custom cover drops. This combination is just amazing. It's the perfect shade, um, great, great coverage, and I just like the way it makes my skin look. It looks very um, natural, but it also covers everything. So perfect combo and then for concealer I've been using this a ton and this is the Mac Studio finish concealer in NC20 I have been using the Pro Longwear concealer forever but I don't know why lately it's just like not agreeing with my skin and it's not giving me as great of coverage that it used to this though this gives the best coverage it covers like absolutely everything and I use um, NC20 for brightening I'm probably in NC25 right now but the NC20 really brightens up under my eyes. Um, I use it down my nose and then on my chin to just kind of highlight. And it's just amazing. It covers. Um, but this has to be set with something. So the product that I've been using to set it is the Makeup Forever HD Powder. I just use this with a 224 brush or a Sigma brush like this. And I just go in and just kind of buff it over the concealer and it fills in any fine lines and it also sets the concealer and makes it wear really great throughout the day. So I've been loving that combination. And then for all over powder, I've been using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and Medium Plus and I have a couple of these and I go back to them every once in a while but this is a great setting powder. For some reason when I mix the custom cover drops into my foundation it takes forever to dry. Like I feel like it never really dries. I have to set it with something. This adds coverage and even makes your foundation look even more natural. It's not like a matte finish. It kind of just is like... It's not satin either. It's in between matte and satin and it just makes your skin look like skin and it's awesome. So I've been loving that a lot. And um, also eye cream. This is one that I've had for a while and I actually picked up a couple more eye creams because I'm thinking like my eyes have been just a little bit more dry underneath. So this is off topic. I did purchase two eye creams from Bobbi Brown. This one is Hydrating Eye Cream and this one is the Eye Repair Cream. I have not used these yet because I want to get through this first. But the great thing about the Abacene Eye Cream from Kiehl's is that you can put this on underneath your concealer and it's not going to affect that. So the Bobbi Brown um, eye creams are a little bit more emollient. They're a little bit um, more moisturizing and you can't, I don't believe you can wear those during the day. I haven't really played with them. I've wore them like once or twice, but this one is one that um, has like a really nice texture. It fills in your fine lines and then you can, it doesn't have like that super moisturizing feeling. So you can wear it under your makeup. So I have a little bit left of this, probably like a month or so worth of uses. I've been using it in the day and also at night. So, um, but I've been loving it. It works really great. Okay. Next, um, because it's getting a little bit colder, colder, it's October, it's getting a little cooler, it's been raining a lot more, my skin has been super dry. I don't know what it is about cold weather, but we all get dry skin. So I've been using the Burt's Bees Honey and So the hand cream is really nice because it absorbs right into your skin. You don't have like um, that really greasy feeling. And then the foot cream works really great because it exfoliates your dry skin on your feet and it also moisturizes really well. So it's like a two in one product, but these smell amazing. They're all natural and I just, I love these products. Okay, next for um, 
blushes these are a couple blushes that I'm kind of leaning more towards like the fall shades the darker deeper shades um, like the wines and the berries and this one is floor power and it's just a beautiful it's a little bit darker it's still kind of bright but it's a really pretty like rosy flower rosy shade and then this one is called desert rose and this one's a little bit deeper it's a little bit more of that like wine shade so those are two that I've been using and then I've also kind of been throwing in like a brighter brush blush and this one is called pink swoon by Mac and it's just a little bit brighter it kind of brightens up your face and just super pretty so for my fall lip I'm not wearing it today today I'm actually wearing um, the Mac pro Longwear lip cream and you're perfect already it's just a really nice like pinky nude um, love that one and then for my more fall lip this is called Amoris by Mac so I use this and I mix or not mix but then the lip liner I use for this is called Rapture by Rimmel and I love Rimmel lip liners I just think that they're really good they're really creamy and they stay on for a long time so I really like them and then lastly um, this is a kabuki brush that I've been using from Mikasa and basically what I do with this is after I'm done applying everything when my makeup is all complete. I just use this with my Makeup Forever HD and just kind of go over everything, just buff lightly. This brush is super soft and it's super thick and full, so it just works great for just kind of going over everything and making sure you, I have like a really nice finish. So that is it for my makeup products. I do have um, a couple hair products and then a like home product. So the shampoos that I've been using, um, this one is ginormous. I got this at TJ Maxx. I usually get most of my hair products from TJ Maxx because I can experiment and use like a variety of things without spending a fortune. So you can get name brand products at a really affordable price. This one is the Macadamia um, Rejuvenating Shampoo. It's color safe, sulfate free, and paraben free. And let me just say to start off with, this just smells amazing but what I like about it is that it doesn't weigh my hair down it smells really good and um, I don't really use the conditioner I don't always buy the conditioners when I get the shampoos because I just use my it's a 10 leave-in and that works really great for conditioning my hair and providing a good heat protectant but this just smells good and I've been loving using it uh, makes my hair super soft and shiny and then last of all I've been using um, this one from Chi. This is the Iconic, Ionic Color Protector System. And um, this works really good for like getting all of the gunk out of my hair, like any styling products. It leaves my hair really squeaky clean and smells so good. It smells like that argon oil scent, um, but I really like it. And another thing that I've been loving are my hair extensions. I am in love with them. I just ordered the 16 inch set, which I just filmed a video on that. So if you want to get more information, um, you can go there. But I've just been enjoying like having the luxury of being able to have long hair again. It's just really nice and it's a really great change, especially when you have short hair and you know, you get tired of things and want to change it up. So I have been loving these. They are so nice. See, um, this is a product I've been using for my laundry. And last month I talked about the Unstoppables from Febreze. This smells like if you want to refresh your bed or your clothes or anything like that, your car, this smells amazing. I spray this all over the house. I spray it on the carpet. I spray it on my um, fresh laundry, my towels, everything. It smells good. I talked about that last month. But then I discovered this. And this is the Downy Unstoppables. Same fresh scent. You throw like a, I think it says to use like a half of a lid full of this. I just use like a fourth, depending on how big my load of laundry is. And this is a laundry game changer. Like seriously. I don't know if this replaces dryer sheets. I haven't taken away my dryer sheets yet. But it makes your clothes and your laundry smell amazing. Like if you have something like sports athletic clothes that your kids wear that are just gross and you put this in there, it will smell so fresh when it's done. So love that. I loved it so much that when I was done with this, I bought this giant size from Costco. It's that great. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed my favorites. I hope you're enjoying the fall so far. I hope you're enjoying October. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye.